For the past year, I've been playing this 100% free-to-play account with one goal in mind. Reaching the end of the trophy road at 50,000 trophies and beating Brawl Stars. And it was going awesome! Until this past update when Brawl Stars dropped this ball on me. Yeah, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do about this yet, but I do have some ideas. Now, what I do know is that in this episode, my goal is to pass my main account in trophies, which is sitting at 44,815, and that means I need to get a little over 3,000 trophies to get there, and I started off with some inside information. So I knew the day before Larry and Lori were going to be nerfed and I wanted to make the most of this info and push the twins on the very last day that they were ridiculously OP. I mean, okay, they're still actually really OP, but yeah, they were really, really OP then. What was also overpowered was that after beating down the very first team I played, I got this legendary Ooh. star drop. Ooh. Come on. And for the rest of the day, I ignored my quests and I focused on getting as many trophies with the twins as I could. We got them all, boys. Let's go. And I finished the day at just over 800 trophies. And yeah, he still <laughs> needs to be nerfed again. The next day was filled with just completing quests. Summon gem grab, summon 5v5. But since it was double star drops, I did pull a mythic that was trash. I mean, it, it's, it's a good gadget, oh. but... I mean, you guys know how I feel about Hank. I think I'd rather get punched in the twig and berries than to play Hank. Now it was midnight and I'd spent the entire day in the studio writing a script and pouring over footage for my last free to play video And so I just wanted to get in some quick games before going home But you know everybody just wanted to chat. I mean and normally that's cool, but I just needed to get my games in bro It's been 10 minutes Finally though, we fired up a game and it Got took it. way too long and then yeah more chatting. What what are you even talking about, broke? What are you even talking about, Thunder? So after 16 minutes, we had played just one game. But then we finally actually started getting some games in, and I realized also that I don't know how to play Sam. I mean, I hardly ever play him, so I have one speed. Foot to the floor. Throw your knuckle busters, run to them, spam shots, throw them again. Maybe you score, maybe you get blown up. I mean, I don't know. I'm probably playing him wrong, but in the moment, I really didn't care. Come on, let's go. So I got a question for you. Have you ever had one of those quests where you just know that you're going to be the bad teammate rolling in with Mortis in Heist or Mortis in Hot Zone or Mortis in... Okay, well, maybe just Mortis anyways, but this time I was going to go in with Sam in duos and I was sure that I was going to be the bad random, but we got the wins and we got the quest done and I got my crappy star drops. And another rare. Whoopie, whoopie, whoo. Now, when I logged in the next day, I was greeted with a free legendary star drop, which turned out to be pretty dang awesome. I, every time, every time I see a legendary, I ask for a legendary brawl. I know, I get it. I'm not getting a legendary brawler, but like coins or credits would be dope. Come on, give me something good. Here we go. Okay, we got a Leon hypercharge. That's actually dope. That saves me 5,000 coins. That is a very good star drop. And then I finished off my push with Sam being super aggro, just running at people. And I ran my way all the way to 500 trophies with him. And after collecting some more credits towards Colette, I remembered that I could actually finish off some masteries and collect more credits to unlock her early. So that was my next plan to get a new brawler just a bit faster. Over the next couple days, I didn't play much because I had to sell out for a sponsor. Hey, don't judge me. My kids got to eat, okay? But when I logged back in on day 415, I was greeted with some free star drops. Ooh, eight star drop? Like, I don't know what the odds are of getting something out of this. Probably still very slim, so... Or I get something decent. <laughs> okay, all right. That's, I guess that's decent. I did ask for something decent. I want something amazing. Perhaps we get something amazing. I actually got like quite a few epics. 
and some mythics. Uh, I mean, it's actually a pretty good round of star drops, honestly. And then I decided to try to finish off some of those masteries for some free credits. First off, Byron. I'll take those. Then I finished off a quest with Grom before heading back on the mastery chain with Sam picking up 75 more. And then I played BB with randoms until I got that last credit drop, which got me a brand new brawler who I leveled up to power 10 before I was out of resources. I don't really like playing Colette either, but there's no doubt that she's good. There's another 600 trophies. It'll take care of me to 43,000. So now it was Valentine's Day and I wanted to do something special for my wife and my girls. So I traveled across the state to get a new puppy. She's a Cocker Spaniel who I named Monet after my favorite artist. And for the first week, she basically terrorized my other dog, Dexter, but now they're getting along good and she's actually pretty sweet when she isn't chewing up everything in sight which is almost all the time, actually. Now, Lunar Brawl was over, and I had a legendary star drop to claim, and boy, oh boy, was it a good one. Give me, please. I have never gotten a legendary brawler from one of these. This could be the time that I get, I finally get a leg... Okay, a hypercharge. That's an extremely good hypercharge. I am down with that. Thank you, Lunar or no, whatever that was for. <laughs> then I re-rolled some quests and tried to line up some easy ones with my new brawler before hopping into some showdown for some easy wins. After pressing play again for four battles, I picked up another nice star drop. Mythic? That's actually really good. I take those credits. Then I hopped into the Valentine's challenge with my friend Koala and it was going pretty good. And then after the third stage, I got yet another insane pool. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Double legendary drops and a mythic in one day, come on. Oh, it's Band-Aid. It's not a bad star power, but you know. After that, I played with Colette a bit more to get her over 100 trophies before calling it a day. The next day, I logged in, completed my obligatory boss fight quest, and then smacked down the Larry and Lori in Showdown before my editor Toma invited me to play some heist with him. So I took the new Colette and we ran that down too. <laughs> And it was going great until I can only imagine Toma started getting bored. And knowing him, when that happens, he enters troll oh, mode. Oh my gosh, Toma! He's like chaining them. Toma's just using the back walls. I don't know what he's doing, but he's having fun. I know when he picks Sprout, he is literally here to troll. That's all he wants to do. And then we finished off this session with one game in Snake Prairie with right Toma being a big old wiener. But I wasn't done just yet because I had Mega Pig to play with my friends Uday and BC. Now we only won 13 games, but the Mega Pig was already full, so it really didn't matter too much. In my first game of the next day, I played with the smartest, most big brain Gus ever. Hey, what is our Gus doing? <laughs> like, is our Gus playing yet? He, you're, that's not even your portal, bro. Oh my gosh, homie. Then some friends invited me to play with them, and after winning the very first game, I got jump scared by a star drop. Yay. Oh my god, that scared me so bad. I thought there's no way I get a legendary brawl from that, but I got Sleepy Sandy. Dude, free, but I already have Sandy. I don't even know what I was thinking. After that, I played some quests, pushing Colette up to 400 trophies before my tablet just up and died on me. This day was not the best day. I actually didn't play at all this day because I was dealing with my car. You see, what happened was, is I was driving home late at night and a deer just jumped out in front of me and it did this. So yeah, I didn't have a car and I had to walk to work. Stupid deer. However, the next day I got to open my Mega Pig and while it didn't make up for my car getting wrecked, it did help me forget about it for a second. Let's see what we get. All right, we know we're... We're getting the standard things here, obviously. Bling, sure. Coins, sure. We got 20. Epic, okay. All right. I'll take 100 credits every time. Rare, standard, standard. Legendary. <laughs> legendary. Okay, dude, I swear, I swear. Uh, one of these times, it's going to be a legendary. One of these, it's probably not going to be this time, but, you know, one of these times, it's going to be a legendary. Frank? DJ Frank. That's a little disappointing for a legendary star drop because I don't like playing Frank, but it's good skin. It's a good skin. I like co mythic. Okay, a mythic. Could be something good. Could be 500 coins. I'll take 500 coins. I need the coins, so that's that's good. Mythic. Okay. 
What is this? No, wait, no, no, no. You've got... Oh, my gosh. What? Did I actually just get Pearl? I just got a free brawler, baby. All right, this is this was a pretty dang good Mega Pig. I think this is my last star drop. An epic and BB Mad Pin. Okay, that's a good screenshot right there. So I took Pearl and leveled her up as much as possible and for the first time, I'm actually at a PowerPoint deficit. I've been getting so lucky with brawlers that I've actually run out of power points instead of gold. So I started playing Pearl and we were on a roll. Good job, Doug. And then around 440 trophies, we had a random named Naruko who started pushing play akin with us. And honestly, he was doing pretty great, but then he just left and I was kind of salty. Fine then, Doug. We thought you were the new improved Doug. You're just a quitter. But then after just one game, he actually joined our team, which I still don't know how that happened. Naruko. Hey, wait a second, Naruko. Isn't that the guy we were just playing with? It is. But he helped me play one last game to reach 500 trophies with Pearl on day one of having her. Props to Naruko. When I logged in the next day, I had just over 43,000 trophies and I still needed like 1,800 more to pass my main account. I already had more trophies than Wasim or Kairos on their main accounts. And I had more trophies than Ryan Light and too. That's, That's right. right. But I still honestly had quite a ways to go to reach my goal. And in my very first game, for some reason, it put me against bots, even though I hadn't lost. And even stranger still, I was an underdog against huh? bots. Cause that makes sense. Now the next day started off great with a jackpot in the shop, but then quickly went downhill. As in my very first game, my teammates went to combine zero and six, and they had less total damage together than I had alone. Golden Dragon, my. But I did complete my quest and once again played some Mega Pig where we only lost one game and I was hopeful that I would have yet another banger opening. But as it turns out, I used up all my luck the previous time and I got this. Ah oh well, I mean, you can't win them all. So I finished off my collect to 500 trophies and completed my quest, which got me to the end of the Brawl Pass as well as to my legendary star drop. And honestly, it wasn't bad. I mean, it wasn't great either, but since I forgot to turn on my microphone, you'll just have to like read my expression to know how I felt. Over the next five days, I worked 70 hours on update videos. And honestly, I don't think I played a single time on this account. I just flat out didn't have the time. But it did mean that I had a free legendary star drop and a hypercharge waiting for me in the shop with the new update. And just when I thought my luck had run out, I picked up this from my star drop. Nice. And for my hypercharge, I got pearls, so I leveled her up as much as my power points would allow me. But the big thing for today was that the championship challenge was back. So, you know, I called my friends Bobby and Chino to play with me. And uh, yeah, playing with two pros makes it slightly easier. I haven't even got a kill yet. They're, they're killing them too fast. Look at, look, they don't miss a shot, man. Boom. And after win number six, I pulled another legendary star drop as well. Ooh, you gotta be kidding me. I thought I was going six for six. Give me something. I got a new brawler? Are you kidding me right now? Spoiler alert on the free to play. Yo, okay. I got zero kills. But indeed, I am a Brawl Stars champion. A couple days later, the new rank mode came out, and I thought I'd give it just one game to see. So I'll play one game, and if I lose, I will never play this mode again. All right, we win. Looks like I will have to play this mode again. Then after scrolling past literally 25 offers in the shop just to pick up my free reward. 23, 24, 25 offers just to get to my free. All right, let's see what we got here. I saw all of the quests that I had fell behind on. So I leveled up my Doug and got to work. Now after completing quite a few of my quests, I called it a day, but then the next day, I got the dreaded quest. That's right, play again. But this time I got some teammates who actually knew how to press a button. I mean, listen, I know it doesn't seem like much, but I appreciated them. We had another day in the books, but I wanted to play some of the rank mode to get the star drops for each rank up. So reluctantly, I plunged headfirst. And to my surprise, they were actually way more fun since they were only single games. And it actually went pretty quick. With just a few games, I got my very first rank star drop, which turned out to be... A handful of games later, we got our second rank reward, which, if you can believe it, was this. Okay, yeah, you could probably believe that. And when I ranked up to silver, it didn't get any better in my epic star drop.
The next day I crossed into Silver 2 and picked up this skin, which isn't a bad one at all, but there are even more lucky pulls to come. But that being said, I'd been slacking on my quests and my trophies thanks to rank, so I quickly got in a few quests done with Lola pushing her close to 300 trophies and then a few with Doug as well, getting him just over 325 and really close to 44,000 trophies. So the next day, I've got to admit, I kind of have a problem. I was back on the ranked game. I was hoping to pull that Dynamite skin, but in my Silver to drop i got dynamite skin that is not dynamite skin but for ranking up to gold Mythic. one i Come managed on. to grab this i mean it could be worse okay cool left let somebody else do the work defeat why I don't even understand why. Then after playing a handful of frustrating games, I was able to finally cross the 44,000 trophy mark, leaving me 815 trophies to go to pass my main account. So I rewarded myself with opening a bunch of tiers on the Brawl Pass. More and a thousand PowerPoints desperately needed. And then after a couple games of facing nothing but Angelos, it dawned on me that I could switch off of Chuck and pick up Angelo. We gotta switch right now. We gotta do that. We get a new Brawler. Let's go. Forgot about that. No wonder I've seen so many Angelos. Makes more sense now. So that's what I did. I picked him up, powered him up to power level nine, as well as I bought a gadget for him because I thought it'd be more useful than his star power. So I played a few games with him just for fun, but then I uh, hopped back into ranked gameplay where I played up to gold two and pulled this lucky drop. And that is awesome but I'm still looking for that Dynamite skin. So I kept on playing, mainly picking Larry and Lori because I only have just a few brawlers that I can actually play. And at my gold three rank, I got this. Well, I don't think I can actually complain, so yeah. Now the next day I wanted to hit diamond rank, so I played some more. Like we had, I don't even know what they were doing. I literally don't know what they were doing the entire time. That dude did 8,000 damage. The Colt never did anything because I, I don't know what more I could have done. Just lost 133 elo off that, bro. Rage is a tiny bit at randoms, you know, as you do. And then I totally threw a game. <laughs> eh, I threw! Uh, but, but then I picked it back up and we got the win anyway. You know, normal rank stuff. Hey, diamond rank. Not that that was hard at all. Mythic star drop. Oh, come on, all that for 200? Are you really? Now, over the next few days, I mainly just played some quests, getting my brawlers up a little, but... Honestly, not pushing very hard. Got my Angelo up to around 300 trophies. Got some crappy star drops. Got a free legendary star drop that was also trash. I mean, that saves me 2,000 coins, but I would never buy this star power. It's not a good one. Picked up some credits, which got me ever okay. closer to unlocking Chuck and generally just not doing a whole lot else. On day 445, I had to travel to Austin to hang out with my friends and record some with Tribe. Now on my first night there before going to bed, I decided to get in some games and complete some more quests. And that turned out to be a great decision. I was gonna stop after my first star drop, but I decided to go just for one more for that second star drop. Listen, second, last star drop. I don't, I'm glad I went for this. Come on. Wait, what? <gasps> you kidding me right now? Yo! I'm so glad I played for that. Dude, oh, that's all of the epic brawlers I have now. So now I have 72 of 77 brawlers unlocked, but I still need some more trophies to reach my goal for this episode, and I only had a few days left to do it. Now, for most of this day, we were filming with Tribe, but in the evening, Ben wanted to play some rank mode, and honestly, I hadn't planned on playing rank, but Ben's recording a video of him getting to Masters League, and he needed somebody to play with. And since Ben, OJ, and me are all one rank apart, I was able to join the lobby. Now, the crazy part about this is that even if we lost, I gained ELO, and when we would win, I would gain the maximum ELO you could of 199 in a single game. So I kept playing because I literally could not lose. I still gained 45! I, I gained 10! 10. 10. <laughs> I've ranked up to Diamond 2. Diamond only two. Won two matches. Ooh, okay, please, be the Dynamite skin. I got mine in Diamond 2. Did you? I got Diamond Okay, skin. this is to be the one then. This will be the one. Let's go! Whoa! Exactly the power of friendship too, and people and Ben Elo carrying us. <laughs> once again, I spent the day filming with Tribe, and then once again, I cheesed the rank system, losing every single game, yet still 
gaining elo. I mean, hey, they have it in their game. I'm just playing with friends. I did, however, play some games by myself, and I won those too. We were done in Austin, and I flew back home, and when I got here, I realized I hadn't played my Mega Pig at all, so I did that with my friends Andy and Pizza, and honestly, it wasn't a very good showing, but once again, the Mega Pig was already full, so yeah, it didn't matter. Now, when I got home from the studio, Tilly wanted to play some Brawl Stars with me, so we were just playing some silly map maker, we were making maps, we were having fun, and one game she wanted to pick each other's brawler, so I handed her my phone, and she chose my brawler. Well, when she handed my phone back, I realized that she had just spent 127 gems to unlock Chuck early. I'd been saving those gems for months and they were all gone. Now she didn't know it was my free to play account, but needless to say, I was not happy. Those were all my gems, literally all my gems. So then on my last day, I had just suffered a setback of all of my gems and then Brawl Stars had to go and add insult to injury with the trophy reset. So I played my newly acquired Chuck that honestly I wish I could just make him go away and get my gems back. And trust me, I asked Danny. It wasn't possible. <laughs> but I needed another 400 trophies to make it past my main account, and today was the last day. So with that in mind, I buckled down and I played some rank mode. <laughs> and I kept playing. And then I played a little bit more. And then my editor shamed me on Twitter, so I played some more and I reached Mythic. It's actually pretty easy. That being said, I fell short of my goal. Is what I would say, but I fixed that. All right. So there you go. Goal achieved. Oh, and uh, what am I going to do about the new 70,000 trophy road? Well, come back next episode. And you're going to find out.